Hi learners! In this video lesson, we will find out together how does static electricity works in some events we see around us. First, the Van de Graaff generator. The Van de Graaff generator pulls the electrons down to the ground, leaving the metal ball with positive charge. When you touch the metal ball, the positive charges on the part of your body moves away from the metal ball. As it tells the law in magnetism, a like charges repel. The positive charges move away and go to the light part of the body, which is your hair. And this is the reason why your hair stand when touching the Van de Graaff generator. Here's another example. As you rub the balloon in your hair, the negative charges in the hair are transferred to the balloon. As the balloon gains electrons, it became negatively charged. And your hair loses electrons. It became positively charged. That makes the hair and the balloon attracted towards each other. And this is the reason why the hair stick in the balloon. Another example is when you reach for a doorknob, you get an electric shock. Why does it happen? The electric shock that you felt are the electrons jump from you to the knob, which conducts electricity. Electrons move more easily through certain materials like metals, which scientists call conductors. When you touch a doorknob or a something else made of metal, which is a positive charge with few electrons, the extra electrons want to jump from you to the knob. That tiny shock you feel is a result of the quick movement of these electrons. And lastly, the formation of lightning. Due to the movement of air molecules, water droplets, and ice particles in the cloud, the clouds develop regions of positive and negative charge. The negative charges are concentrated at the bottom of the cloud, and the positive charges are concentrated at the top. Through polarization, the ground below the clouds becomes positively charged. However, the atmosphere prevents electron from flowing to the ground until a huge amount of charges has built up. Charges keep building up in the cloud and on the grounds, and eventually, a channel of charged particles starts to form between the clouds and the ground. When the channel of charges is complete, electricity is suddenly discharged as bolt of lightning. And this is also happened in clouds to clouds or within the clouds. Alright, that's it for today. See you in our next video lesson. If you'd like to know more about charging process and electric charges, click that previous video lesson. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification icon for more videos like this. Bye everyone and have a great day!